a cunt. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I have never seen this matchup be played in my life, except for when I played it with Apollo a couple of times. It's a bit of a clown fiesta. Both of these guys have frame one buttons um, that just kind of come out. It's hilarious. So and he pocketed the uh, the gunman fire. <clears throat> and now he the has fire. literal fire in his pocket. How would you even use that? Who would you it's use? A bullet. Yeah, it's, it's shoot your <laughs> shot, villager. You never, you never just shot. You never just thrown a bullet. Oh, there's clay fish. <laughs> Cause the Bugger Lamb's like really like, is uh, really um, is really scrutinizing what projectile he, he grabs from Zane. Yeah, uh, grabbing cannons is definitely going to be a really big one. You could do downfield cannon at a certain percent, um, and that can definitely take a couple of stocks pretty early. Um, I think what's going to be really big is if Pokeland can pocket Clay Pigeon. Um, just being able to convert off of Clay Pigeon as Villager. You could do Clay Pigeon into Axe, Clay Pigeon into Upper, I believe. Um, so it'll be really exciting oh. to see. Mamma mia. Yeah, uh, Zane got hit by the, uh, the Shield Break setup, and I was like, yeah, you're gonna die one way or another, but your chance to get out of the situation has gone, far gone past. You have to find a way to go in between the hits, or else, um, the Axe is just going to, you know, break you while you're stuck in all that Shield Stun. Yeah. Alright, really good pursuit from, uh, from Zane. Mm -hmm. Pokeland Shui does a really good job of stuffing out um, any sort of cans that Apollo tries to throw out from ledge. Alright, good DI out by Pokeland not giving uh, Apollo the, the kill there. Mm -hmm. Ah, misses the punish on the up smash. I do respect that from Pokelamb though, he just like wanted to like not take any risks there. Didn't want to overcommit if he felt that he was a little too unsafe. Ugh. The boss coming back again. The strongest mm. gunman. Oh, accidental uppy, huh? Uh, 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 I feel like Pokelamb just needs to be a little bit more mental if he's coming up off of the ledge. Um, especially when Zane is covering themselves with gunmen. Um, you know, covers yourself from Lloyd, covers yourself from any slingshots, so Pokeline just can't get back onto stage as aggressively as he would like to. Yeah, so the, the can is an instant explosion on contact with literally any surface, but the use of the gunman was so good there, it almost killed, uh... Yeah, I can't mash as quick as Beast, I guess. No. Zane's a lot of things. Zane ain't a mash -y. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm kidding, Beast, do not a match. Well, that one, you know, maybe a little. Okay. Um, <laughs> but again, okay, so Pokemon, you see this time, he adapted really, really well. He didn't get back onto stage aggressively. Instead, he just full hopped Ooh. over the tree, respecting the space properly. What is happening? I wanted the two cans to touch. Haha, -ha. what if we touched cans? Just kidding. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless. Unless. The, so yeah, this is definitely a bit of a clown fiesta. Um, this matchup's really ridiculous. I have, it's just so entertaining to see. Right now, Pokeland getting so much damage. The jab block into the up smash into up air. Oh my god, I love the fact that um, you know both Villager and Isabel can convert off of their respective up smashes and get like another hit off of it. It's the funniest thing to me. Why? I don't know. It's like it's. It's just weird to see like low percent smash attacks do stuff like that. Oh, Ooh. is Zane dead? Zane's dead. Yeah, they were yeah. too low. They couldn't uh, air dodge up. Also, shout out to the uh, the Poncho gunman with his weird little ghost thing in between his legs. Keep an eye out for him next time during the replays, guys. The little uh, Poncho gunman has like a little he has like a little hollow jack o' lantern smiley face in between his legs. I think it's in the last clip. Yeah, there he is. Ah, look at him. Wait a second, I just noticed that you guys have uh, a 3U badge. Yeah, that's new. Devin, I looked at the chat as soon as the game was over. I'm not looking at it while casting. You know what? I'm going to close the Twitch chat. I'm going to close the Twitch chat on my browser. And you guys are going to have one less view now. I hope All right, you guys. You can, just, you can just close the chat and leave uh, the, the video on. Mm, that's true. I never thought about it. <laughs> You gotta inflate your numbers. <laughs>
That was a really good game one from Pokemon. I feel like he had the lead the entire like uh, game so far. Like, didn't drop it once. Mm -hmm. Um, just just you know kept on applying pressure. That pocketed can, the way that it almost killed Pokelam from such an early present was kind of funny to me. What kind of bands we got, guys? Come on. It's Wednesday night. People have work tomorrow. Not me, though. Uh, so Pokelam banned Town and FD. Town and FD. Hmm, that's yep. interesting. Yep. And we are going to Drumwell. Yeah, it is uh, Starterville. Formerly Starterville, now known as Smashville. Good old. Uh huh. I don't know. I don't know even if I like Smashville that back and forth and being stuck with it like that. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't my cup of tea. You know? Well, like, this is the most neutral stage. It has a platform that is in every position. And it just stays there. Well, no. It just, it not just stays there. there. Yeah. Oh, I never noticed Three, on Duck Hunt's two, portrait, one, you can see like you can go. see the the smush of fur where the duck is grabbing onto the onto the dog's butt in the in, you know what I'm talking about like the character splash screen. Mm, I'll take a, I'll take a note of it next time. Yeah, I just noticed that, and that's really weird. But uh, you know what else is weird? Uh, Zane not having any damage. Yeah, Zane just sort of played back, waited for Pokemon to press Oh, look at the jack! Look at the face! It's smiling. Ooh, that's the F to go into the can. Really, really good, and Zane still has no damage to the name whatsoever besides 8.8%. You know, Zane's playing this really smart. Did you see how many hits just collided at once? What happened? That was like four hits or so. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm not even going to pretend to know what happened there, because I just genuinely don't at all. Um, that being said, you know, Pokemon keeps pocketing these cans. Um, I feel like it hasn't worked out for them any single time that he's done it. Like, always came back to, like, slowly bite him a little bit for it. You see, this time he let go of it preemptively. Like, just always wanting to keep the pocket open. So instead Ooh. of... Good pursuit. But not quite, uh, not quite strong enough to kill there. You see Pokemon just, like, respecting the gunman, respecting the ass mash, just knowing, okay, you know what, I have to lay low for a little bit. Use once again the Lloyd Rocket just to give himself a little bit of, of coverage as he's getting back to stage. However, because he, what a good stall that was fantastic. Because yeah, I feel like Zane like double guessed what direction Pokemon was gonna go in, and that cost him the kill. Because mm -hmm. he had to at that point he had to go left. He didn't really have an option but to do that. Yeah, I mean that was just like so ambiguous, right? Like completely threw up Zane's time. And, Ugh. Was it just me? Was it like a spot of like lag there? Yeah, that was not just me. It was definitely like. Apollo's dropping, uh, he's dropping packets like crazy, actually. Because the hitbox was a little bit extended on the can, um, it got that extra little stall it needed to be able to, um, hit Zane. Had it, like, dropped as quickly as it normally would, it would have completely, like, bypassed, um, you know, in Duck Hunt's hitbox. You know, just like that, like, despite, like, such an early dominant start, like, after that bowling ball, like, Pokemon has brought it all the way back, looking like a pretty good lead for himself right now. I like the use of the gunman just to cover the logo cover the, um, but then, like, maybe, you know, not preparing themselves well to cover the high recovery. It was yeah. just able to recover, like, from high aggressively so well. You know, with Lloyd and with Slingshot, just, like, so many things you have to keep track of at once. This is the fact that like you see um you see Pokelam coming back basically for free underneath the stage consistently. That's not a luxury that Zane gets. Uh because Hunt, Duck Hunt just doesn't have like a great way to hit someone who's coming in low. Oh, oh that's nah. not a great jump. Yeah, not a great jump, but just the option coverage, like it's also really difficult to prime yourself, like always keeping in mind which projectile villager has pocketed and to also be ready to like be safe in that trajectory. And the up smash into up, but only dealing 37% there and not able to get the triple to him. Good gunman. Wow, that was so excellently spaced. Like, the shot was taken just just before it went under the stage. Oh, I think he was really he was really betting on the gunman taking the grab there. Mm -hmm. Granted, only the other uh, boss can kill, typically, but... I don't have any five, you know, on Smashville. Yeah, there's still that opportunity where it could have. 
Yeah. Could you okay, good can mm -hmm. Yeah, just to shoot the can downwards for control the ground space once again. Pokelem is has been playing so ev well evasively up until that point. Um, Zane's gonna, looking to get a little bit something started. Good use of the gunman, like once again, just to cover the head a little bit um, and protect him from the slingshot hits. Oh, that was an interesting clay pigeon interaction where, like, I guess it hit the can and then it went, it bounced back into uh, to Zane and caused him some damage or them some damage. Wow, that was actually a little bit interesting. Um, not able to punish the Nera out of shield might have had something to do with the gunman being there. However, that being said, right now, like, Zane is slowly starting to bring this back. Oh. He's kind of to punch this out. Um, right now, Pokemon, I don't know what he's holding on to. It's, it's the gunman bullet. Ooh. Yeah. That bullet is hella strong, and it can totally, like, kill Zane and gets the, uh, boss one. Oh! Such a double! Ah! Oh, was he able to get it? Yep. It's another bullet. My man caught a bullet and just like, I'm gonna throw this at you. And you're gonna die. He Pocket is so absurd. Shoot your shot. Take it. Do it now! Ah. Just throw bullets, people, dude. I wanna, I wanna do, I wanna take a look um, at losing's bracket between this game. I so ConCon Con actually like, I guess, not. I don't know. Body is the right word, but they beat Sourdough in losers in losers quarters, and now we have Beast and Bashi. I'm trying to hold that for stream because Bashi is a newcomer. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that for stream, and then we'll do losers semis after that. Oh, Bashi, Bashi! Oh my God, love him. He's like a 13 year old Dark Pit main. Like, yeah, they're Dr. Man. He gets small. He's tidy. Uh. Oh, wow. Who did he beat? He beat Hayes? Wow. Yeah. And he beat... And he beat... Uh, uh, KC, he beat Oats, Ice Snacks. Pretty good wins. Two, one, and all that coming from, like, round two losers. Wow, wow, wow. This is really... Actually. actually, right now. Let's see who they lost oh, wow. to. Uh, that being said, right now Pokemon trying to bring some heat of his own. Um, not able to get the down throw into the can, not having enough knockback to send upwards. That was actually that was actually just really good DI from Pokemon, DIing like down and away, like positioning himself as far away from the can as possible. Yeah. And we see again like Apollo has a pretty um has a pretty decent lead right now. All things considered, but the last time that they had this kind of lead, like it ended up slipping out of their fingers really quickly. Yeah. Oh my god. Slug <laughs> shot. The perfect trajectory just to send it right back. And again, you know, Pokemon allowed to recover from, um, allowed to recover high free free again. Very little that you can do to punish that. That's gonna be down smash into F smash. Hmm. Wait, how did Pokemon just die? I wasn't watching for like half a second, I tuned out. I, I, I zoned out for a second. I have no, I'm gonna be honest. I have no clue how Pokemon just died. No, yeah, well, I'm the worst caster. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was checking TS stuff and I just did not see why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really good use of dash attack, and that's like the first time I see. That's interesting though. I don't see Pokemon go through dash attack much in this matchup at all. Um, you know, like normally at mid percent, it'd be used to set up into a photo or something, or to like touch a little bit. Uh, but I'm curious as to why like Pokemon isn't still being used. To it. It's that like you see him go for especially a lot more Lloyds, goes for a lot of tree setups. It does really, really good. Like, instead of like continuing to pressure, um, you know, Zane's shield unsafely, Pokemon just said, you know what, I'm just gonna hold back a little bit, I'm gonna get center stage, um, and position myself a little bit better. And that can, that can placement is terrifying, I would not want to be anywhere near that if I was Zane. Considering like how absurdly strong it becomes when Villager pockets it. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but does Villager have a two times multiplier on their on on uh, on, on projectiles they pocket? It's it's uh, the most powerful multiplier in the game. I'm not sure if it's two times or one point five times. However, it is it is one of the two. It's absurdly strong, and <laughs> we need Smash Four flashbacks with the exploding balloons. 
Yeah, Pokemon is just not getting the that kind of uh, reward off the Clay Pigeon Gen. Clay Pigeon. Mm -hmm. That was such a bizarre, like, series of interactions. I thought Pokemon somehow connected to Chewie. And it was just, like, the gunman getting hit. <laughs> What's going on? Alright, good catch. And Pokemon tried to tried to extend the can a little bit. I respect it. Mm, I feel just for a little bit of stage control. Tries to pocket the gunman a little bit too early with it, but still lucky enough just to be able to live it. Tries to go for the nail into jab, but actually gonna get outranged by Duck Hunt jab. Uh, uh, grab rabbit, excuse me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Paulo kind of in a bad situation right now. Oh, a great recovery though. The fastball Nair out of the, uh, out of the up beat. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Like, Apollo, like, understood, like, okay, if I recover low, I'm gonna die to bowling ball, but I'm gonna get ledge trapped to death. I have to go high. I have to take this, co uh, this coin flip. And it, you know, it definitely worked out to the favorite. Oh my, the gunman managing to, like, get that shot off right at the last frame. Jeez. Oh, still having enough time. So because the clay pigeon started interacting with the Lloyd and started getting like a couple of hits in, that was the only reason Pokeland was able to pocket it. Because it like just could have slowed down its advance. Crazy. And just like that, like Zane actually managing to uh to bring us back like super well. Mm-hmm. Grabbing stock and then right out of the air, he's not able to get the F throw into the can. Right now, this looks like Pope. Uh, this looks like Apollo's game to win. Good stall off stage a little bit as Zane went off stage to try to get an edge guard. Once again, setting up these Lloyds to cover the ledge, not preparing themselves for the drop down jump aerial. <laughs> I, jeez, man, there's too many explosions. This is great. What is happening? I, uh, everything's going up. Oh, and this is so good for the Pokeland. The can, the can was facing the other direction. Nothing Apollo could have done. Um, good high recovery once again, and just neutral airing instead of opting and just to go for free fall. Pokeland's like looking for that axe to finish the match. Oh baby! Oh baby! Oh, that's Ooh. terrible, Di. <sighs> Literally acting time, I think. Oh no! Uh. <laughs> All right, so the bobble-headed weirdo wins. Excuse me? He's a good boy. The bobble-headed weirdo look wins. How cute. Look how cute Villager is. You can't tell me Villager isn't a cutie. Look at him. I think Villager has uh, has googly eyes and like a weird painted-on nose and mouth. Why do you like this? Who are you? Which villager hurt you? Like, like honestly. Uh, I mean, I think we all know the answer to that. I'm sure Devin could tell you in the chat if you're looking at it. I'm not. I, 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 I'm, I sure De I'm sure Devin could tell you exactly which villager hurts you. Or, or numbers. They could both tell you which villager hurt you. Which villager hurt you? I'd like to, I'd like to know the lore. What's, what's the trauma? What's the health trauma? Devin, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to interject? You know which villager hurt me. 